Hello and welcome back to Zaz 5 My name is Mukdzaim Labo and today I'm giving you the five dope hook masters in Zimbabwean urban music. Starting things off is Mr. Noxa. <laughs> This is one of the most underrated alternative sounding artists in Zimbabwean music. His voice is very boastful, but also very calm. And you know what? It goes without saying, but let me just say it anyway. He can make any song sound good, whether it be it on dance music or on a gospel track, whatever it is, the hook on that, you know you're going to be singing along. <laughs> Moving on to Msizi K. This is every Bulawayo rapper's feature vocalist. I mean, they love this guy. I also love this guy. He's very likable with his cheese scope and everything. But the beauty of it, of his artistry, is his sharp vocals. Might sound a bit monotonous because I don't really hear much range. But other than that, whenever he's in, on any track, he sounds less monotonous. And it's amazing. Like, he has the vocals that will hit you like straight into the heart. They're that sharp. But beautiful CZK coming through there and is one of the finest Bulawayo has to offer. Moving on to a guy we've already done a piece on, but it's always great to come back to it. You can check it out right here. It's the dog. So poorly sell, I'm hard, I'm such a flamer. She asked me who I be. Man, not many people I wanna see win. Okay, I wanna see everyone win, but this guy. Crazy, arguably top three talent Bulawayo has to offer. That's how crazy the talent is. And one beautiful thing about the dog when he's on his hooks is you can tell that there was conceptual planning on everything. I'm sure everyone else does it, but you can really tell it. And it's one of those distinct things that you can tell on his hooks. You tell that it's well-written, well-planned, and it's usually, I know it's an episode about hooks, but this is usually one of the things that you take home on his hooks. Like a guy could be rapping about anything necessary rhymes abcs and whatever but if the dog is, is on that hook like you 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 love that track you won't even care about the rap you'll still sing along to it and that's why he's here Moving on to another guy we also did an episode on. He was our MVP for 2020. You can check out the video right here. It is Nati O. I've always said this. I think the music that Nati O makes is champagne music. And I think one of the most underrated qualities that he has is that he can actually sing without assistance like no autotune or whatever it doesn't feel forced like you listen to his feature on tammy's lay it down and you're like wow man like he's going toe to toe head to head with tammy on vocals heard it from the grapevine that you waste your time and talk about my life that's so nice to be that's crazy for me he also shows a great versatility whether he's featuring on a hip-hop track or he's featuring on a dancehall track the vocal power is something that you always take home and you are guaranteed to have a good song when you have Nati O on it. And then closing it off is Shumba Inoruma Kruger. I think we can safely say for the longest time in hip-hop music, the undisputed king of hooks has been Junior Brown. But, you know, he hasn't been active for a while and that's probably, well, we aren't talking about him. But I might feel we might have a new king. If you disagree, maybe you can call him the prince. And Kruger, Shumba Inoruma, this dude is crazy with his hooks. I really don't think I've had a bad hook from Kruger. On any track, whether it be on Mteuro or Munwenyama, his whole album, that Shumba Inoruma album, the hooks, were crazy on that and i love it they they're so good they sound like their own verses on their own like the melodies everything the writing on it the quotables is the whole complete package and you know what if you're an upcoming rapper 
dial up the dude, have some bag in your pocket, and you're gonna have a banger. Trust me. Chirundi gati, anything's possible. Una jesu, ava believe ava. Chirundi kafui da pamso. And that's our five dope hook masters in Zimbabwean urban music. We're gonna come through with part two in a later episode. I know you're thinking of some names, but we're gonna talk about them still. With that being said, I've been Mugu Zemi Lambo. This has been Zasta Five. Ishu! Catch you on the next one. <laughs>